happy Monday. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. For those of you who are new here, my name's Amanda. I'm a third year vet student and this is my puppy, Link. And welcome to another day in vet school. We're all set. I have my coffee. Link has his Kong, so he will be busy for, well, probably not long enough, but he'll keep busy for a little bit. Basically, since the last time I posted, I got COVID, which not only did I get COVID, but it seems like everybody got COVID, which meant that we had a bunch of stuff canceled for our vet program. I was supposed to do a surgery last week and that got canceled. Probably not going to get rescheduled, which is a little bit disappointing, but we still have one more surgery coming up next week. Anyways, I am basically back to 100% now, which is great because it is just in time for me to start studying for final exams. Oh man. On the bright side, we finished our very last midterm ever of vet school. How crazy. Someone calculated and I think we had written 64 midterms over our three years of vet school, which insane. I don't know. It's a weird feeling because I'm like in my head, it felt like way more than 64, but then you say it out loud and you're like 64 is a lot of midterms. It's a lot of studying. So that is a good piece of news at least. Cheers to being done midterms. Ooh, that's a good coffee today. Anyway, now that midterms are done, we have a couple assignments to finish up. I still have one more surgery left to do, but then final exams are right around the corner and I am terrified for them this year. I don't know why, but they just seem like way scarier in third year and third year has been a lot harder than all the other years content wise. So I think that's why it's also scaring me. Basically, I need to start studying now for those. Um, they're two weeks away. We have two weeks of class left, but these next two weeks are pretty chill. I think they gave us quite a bit of time to start studying because they knew finals were gonna stuck, which thank you for that, OVC. So that is my main plan for today. I have three classes this morning. I have a very exciting lab this afternoon that I'm gonna bring you guys along for. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with those three lectures that we have this morning, and then we'll start preparing for our ophthalmology lab this afternoon. I managed to get through two lectures this morning, but then I had to go pick up my grocery order. So it's like 11 o'clock now. I think I'm gonna take Link for a walk. Normally I try and take him for a walk in the morning before I start my classes, but we're currently going through like our third winter here in Canada and it's been really cold lately. So I've been pushing his walks back to like lunchtime in hopes that it warms up a little bit throughout the day because there's nothing worse than getting up early in the morning, not wanting to get up early in the morning and taking your dog for a walk in the really cold weather. So luckily I have classes online right now and I can take him during lunchtime. While I'm having lunch, I thought I would tell you about our ophthalmology lab this afternoon. I am super excited for this lab. Um, basically, it's an ophthalmology procedures lab, so I think we're doing four or five different procedures on cadavers and they're all surgical procedures that we would be doing in general practice. The one I'm super excited about is that we're going to be doing an enucleation, which is basically where you remove the eyeball. So, very cool. Um, don't 
exactly know how I feel about eyes yet. They used to really creep me out. But for this section of our course, we have our ophthalmology professor and she has been awesome. She's really cool and she wants students to learn. And I don't know, I've just really enjoyed the ophthalmology section, which I did not think I was gonna say beforehand. So I'm super excited for this lab. I also have an ophthalmology rotation with her this summer. I'm just, I'm really excited about eyeballs for some reason. Um, and it's been very cool content. So last night I actually went through all of the procedures and there was videos accompanying them. So they were like step-by-step step how to do the procedure. So I went through all of those last night and they were super helpful. Today though, I need to practice some of my suture patterns because the last time I sutured was before Christmas. Um, I was supposed to do surgery last week, like I said, but that got canceled. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit rusty on some of my suture patterns. Most of the patterns that you need for these opto procedures are really simple. So it's like simple interrupted, simple continuous, um, a cruciate pattern, and then just being able to bury knots. There's not really any like super fancy patterns. I'm really excited to see how it compares to other tissues. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot harder than I think it's going to be. But either way, I'm super excited, but I do need to practice those suture patterns. So I'm gonna have lunch quickly. Going to try and finish that last lecture from this morning and then practice my suture patterns before I have to leave for lab at three. 30. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat my lunch now. Side note, I got Oreos and these are my favorite ones. The like vanilla Oreos. Oh, these are chef's kiss. So good. So I'm really excited to eat those. Okay, it took me a little bit longer to get through. Oh, Link is trying to eat my camera strap. Hold on. Okay, it took me a little bit longer to get through that last lecture than I had planned. So I only have about 20 minutes to practice my sutures before I have to leave for lab. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Luckily, they are just some basic patterns um, that I should be able to know how to do at this point. Whether that's true or not, who knows? But I'm gonna do them really quickly and then I'm going to head off to lab. Hey guys, it is now the next day. I'm not gonna lie, I got back from lab last night and I was really tired, so I ended up making pizza and then I went straight to bed. But I did wanna give you an update on yesterday's Optho Lab because it was honestly one of my favorite labs that I've ever done in vet school, minus like our actual surgery lab. And it was so cool to get the hands-on experience of performing these procedures. So I definitely wanted to update you guys on it because like I said, it was just such a good lab and I wish all of vet school was like this. However, I wanted to go over the five procedures that we did in lab, explain to you guys why we would do them, and then also pop up a picture on the screen so that you guys can see the procedure completed and hopefully get a better idea of what these would look like on an animal. Because I'll be honest, some of these procedures didn't really make sense to me until I actually did them. So hopefully these pictures will give you a better idea of what we did in lab. The very first procedure that we did was temporary tacking sutures. And this procedure is done to correct cases of entropion that can't go to surgery right away. I should say that entropion is when 
there's so much eyelid tissue that the eyelids actually end up rolling inwards towards the eye and the eyelashes and the hair on the eyelid end up rubbing against the patient's eye which can cause a lot of discomfort in animals so we want to try and correct that rolling inwards with the tacking sutures and you're basically just placing these sutures to help pull the eyelid back outwards so it faces like a normal eyelid would. So then the next procedure that we did was called a Holtz-Seltzis procedure and this is the procedure that's done to permanently correct simple cases of entropion. And basically what you're doing is you're cutting an elliptical piece of tissue off of the eyelid and then suturing it together to like I said hopefully evert the eyelid so it's not rubbing against the eye. I will say that I have so much more respect for ophthalmologists after this lab because eyelid tissue is extremely hard to suture on. It's so thin and it's just so elastic that it's really hard to keep it tight enough to actually suture nicely. Um, and I honestly really struggled suturing it as well as cutting it. So like I said, I have a whole new respect for ophthalmologists and any vets that are performing these surgeries. And honestly, I'm really glad we got to practice them first in vet school before I actually go out and try and do these on a real animal. Um, that was the first two and those were both procedures that help with cases of entropion. The next procedure we did was a temporary tarsorophy. Tarsorophy? Tarsorophy. Temporary tarsorophy, which is a procedure that's used in cases of proptosis, which is basically like when the eye bulges outwards and you use this when the eye is deemed to be viable. So basically you're just suturing the eyelid shut with stents on the top and the bottom because there's going to be a lot of tension on the eyelids. And this was also a really challenging procedure to do. And it was funny because I watched the videos and on the video, the stents looks about like that big. And then we got to lab and the stents were like this big. Definitely a challenge having to work with such tiny things. And I don't know why in the video, everything was blown up or magnified so that we could see it really well but then I got to lab and realized the eyeball was like this big so definitely a challenge um but this was a really cool procedure to perform the fourth procedure that we did was a wedge resection and you would use this procedure if there was a mass on the eyelid that needed to be removed and basically you just cut a little triangle on the eyelid to remove the area where the mass is and then you suture the two layers together the conjunctiva as well as the skin and there you go good to go and then finally the last procedure we did which was the coolest procedure hands down was an enucleation and I ended up doing a transpalpebral approach which is basically where you suture the eyelid shut and then you make an incision around the entire eyelid area and then use blunt dissection to remove the eye and this procedure was super cool also much harder than I was expecting I was like oh you just you cut and you snip and the eyeball comes out and no not like that <laughs> I found it challenging because you are making a lot of blind cuts because you can't pull the eyeball out otherwise you pull on the optic nerve and you think oh that's not a big deal because the eye is coming out so who cares but if you pull on the optic nerve of the eye that's coming out you can actually blind the good eye so you definitely don't want to do that which means you're making a lot of blind cuts behind the globe of the eye and you're just hoping that you know you're cutting the right thing which kind of terrifying but also a very satisfying procedure once you actually take the eye out and then have to suture it closed but yeah all in all this lab was super cool um was hands down one of the best labs I've done in vet school super applicable because a lot of these procedures can actually be performed in general practice so you know are things that I might be doing in just over a year which is crazy to say but yeah that is basically yesterday's lab uh summed up in like five minutes hopefully those pictures were helpful for you guys to envision what we were doing envision get it because it was an eye lab oh my god I'm too tired I need to sleep anyways um I am going to keep studying because on top of the classes that we have these next two weeks I also need to really start studying for final exams because that is coming up before I know it. So I am going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next week's video will be another surgery video because I finally have my last surgery. I'm finally operating again, so stay tuned to find out if I'm doing a spay or a neuter. I'm hoping for a spay since I've never done one before, but who knows? Cross your fingers for me. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.